Hey guys, who wants to hear from a very well respected and terrifically talented comedian? Yeah. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? Well, this man is a regular on I'm Sorry I Haven't a Clue and Just a Minute, and he played King Arthur in Spamalot in the West End. Also, he has a heart of gold, literally, which is problematic medically wise. Please welcome to the stage, <laughs> Mr. Marcus Brigstock! <laughs> Hello, Marcus. Hi, Alex. This is the band. Band, this is Marcus. Hey, the band. Hi, Marcus. Hi, Marcus. Hello. They're all yours. Uh, I'm tremendously, genuinely excited to do this because I, I love music passionately and I've now reached an age where I don't mind what type of music uh, <laughs> at all. I really don't. For the most part now, I listen to reggae, ska and dub. Um, I do. That's, uh, you can laugh. I used to be a goth. And with goth, you have to dress like the music, but if, in my position, you then get into reggae, it's important not to. <laughs> During the period in my life that I was a goth, I was not true to goth music. You, there were only very limited bands that you were supposed to listen to, but I was a huge fan of the Smiths as well, because I think, you know, a lot of Morrissey's lyrics just really spoke to me. It was good fortune uh, at the time. I happened to have a girlfriend in a coma. And, uh, <laughs> And when I first got into jazz, it was via Louis Armstrong. And uh, it's hard to reconcile the different styles, but I'm going to try and do that for you now by performing a trad jazz version of this charming man. <laughs> Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Everybody. She buys a girl on the hillside desolate Well, did you make a man out of me, yeah In this charming car This charming man, yeah I would go out tonight, but I haven't I haven't got a stitch to wear So, as you grow up, you do sort of stop caring what people think about your music tastes. Quite recently, I, I went to Paris uh, with my girlfriend. And so we went to this jazz club. And you know when all your expectations are met? Like, you think, oh, well, a jazz club won't be too much of a jazz club. It really was. I, I, <laughs> embarrassingly, I forget the name. So let's refer to it as Le Chateau du Jazz. <laughs> but as we approached, we could hear this jazz coming out. Somewhat like this. And there were people in berets, and it was hard to tell whether that was because of the jazz or just because they were French. <laughs> yeah. And so we walked in, and everybody in there was taking their jazz very, very seriously, nodding along, and there wasn't much clapping, and there was a lot of clicking. And there was a strange-looking woman down at the front. Uh, she was quite tall, and she was wearing a cloak is a strong look and um, and is this brilliant I think brilliant it's always hard to tell with jazz isn't it uh, <laughs> this brilliant band played uh, she was just nodding along and stuff and then uh, and then the band stopped to introduce her like that and the guy was fantastic there were a New York bebop outfit and he was a sax player who was also heavily asthmatic and, uh, and then he introduced this strange-looking woman in a cloak, and he got her up to sing, and, and he said, we'd like, to, we'd like to perform for you now. It's a song by the name of Nightbird. Nightbird. Point. We had to excuse ourselves <laughs> from the club because I was folded in half by how hard I was laughing. 
at this extraordinary woman in a cloak who they'd built up for so long, who after a long solo eventually just went, Nightbird! It was a wonderful experience. The horn section, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Thank you, Marcus. Heart of Gold.